Hello everyone and welcome to <laughs> This is Central America and here's Panama. Now let's go, shall we? A tropical neck connecting the Americas. The little country of Panama would one day prove to be of immense importance to the world of trade, but in ancient times was of immense importance only to its various tribes, who hunted and crafted and fought and sang for centuries, until everything changed forever with the arrival of the Spanish in the early 1500s. Spain would conquer a massive chunk of the Americas, and Panama belonged to a section called the Vice Royalty of Peru, and it was in Panama that pilfered silver and gold were carried in order to be shipped off to Spain. Of course there was native resistance, and much territory, though claimed, remained outside of Spanish control for a long time. Now due to the riches stored in its boundaries, Panama was targeted by Spain's rival England, from the expedition of Francis Drake to the raids of Henry Morgan a century later. Here is a picture of Mr. Morgan looking very proud indeed, as Panama City burns in the background. By the 19th century, Spain's power had decidedly diminished, and its colonies rebelled against it and won their independence. Panama subsequently became part of Gran Colombia, a state that soon split apart, and Panama passed to New Granada, then the Granadine Confederation, which collapsed after a civil war, then it passed over into the United States of Colombia, which was not united at all. And after years of conflict, Panama said, yeah, okay, I'm out of here, and separated from Colombia to become its own nation in 1903. Now, various countries had long desired a canal to be constructed in Central America in order to more speedily and easily access the Pacific from the Atlantic. Going this way under Cape Horn, or going Going this way through the Arctic was simply too long, dangerous and inefficient. Panama was an ideal spot for a canal because of its narrowness, and the French had actually made a serious attempt at carving one out there in the 1800s, but the project fell through. Once Panama split from Colombia, the United States seized the moment to support Panama, thus discouraging Colombia from trying to regain it. The US, under President Teddy Roosevelt, immediately set about planning a canal. Construction lasted from 1904 to 1914, a colossal enterprise and a phenomenal engineering accomplishment that brought the United States additional wealth, power, and prestige. The Panama Canal Zone was administered by the United States alone, a massive strip of Panamanian territory that Panama had no control over. Did this upset Panama? Yes, yes it did. Gaining control of the canal was a major mission of the country's leader Omar Torrijos, and in 1977 he managed to negotiate a treaty with President Carter, guaranteeing that Panama would acquire the canal in 1999, which is what happened. But this didn't stop US involvement in Panama, for the Americans invaded in 1989 to depose the dictator Manuel Noriega, which they did. Panama, in the years that followed, introduced a number of reforms and improvements and amped up its banking sector, and the country today possesses a very high level of human development and is a popular tourist destination, and we wish Panama all the best, but as for me, it's bye for now. Bye-bye!